Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code and welcome to another episode of our Discord.js tutorial series. In this video, we're going to talk about how to create anonymous messages. Now before we get into what this actually is, let's check it out on Discord. So if I say here, Anon, and then type my message, this is a message, hello world, as you can see, it's deleted and then replaced by an anonymous message where you can't see the sender and it's sent as an embed. So let's go over exactly how to do this. Since we're using a lot of concepts that we've already used before in previous videos, I've already written out all the code we need, but I'll be going over it line by line and explaining what each line does. So first we have a file anon.js. This is within our commands folder and this command is, is running with our deploy commands.js file. And all this can be found on GitHub as well. And I also have the bot running by running node with this file or with the file index.js. So now that we have the fundamentals out of the way, let's go over this file and let's go over how this code is working. So first we import slash command builders and message embed. This allows us to create an embed and also allows us to create a slash command because this command works as both a slash command and as a normal command. And the name of this command is anon. The description you can set that you can set the description to anything you want. I just said it replaces a message with an anonymous one, and then we have the execute function. And this execute function is called whenever the user runs the command. So whenever they put slash anon or exclamation point anon, then this function will run. So the first thing we're doing is we're getting the message content from the actual message that is sent because the message that's sent is not only the content, it contains data about the user, the server they're in, the guild they're in, the channel they're in, and a bunch of other data. And then we're going to delete the message that the user sent so that you can't see who sent the message. Then we're going to create an embed, so let message embed equal new message embed. Set the title of that to whatever you want. I chose anonymous message. We're going to add fields. Only one field we're going to add is the message field. And the value of that message will be the message content variable we defined up there. And then we can send this to the channel that the original message was sent to. So message.channel.send and then embeds. And you can choose up to 10 embeds to put in here. Since we only have one, we're only going to send one. And that's it. All this code can be found on GitHub. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have any questions, please leave it down in the description below. Check us out on Patreon as well. Check, us our, check out our Discord channel. We have that down in the description as well. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.